Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at InTheseTimes.com, and they got an article, Solving the 10,000-Year-Old Problem of Agriculture, an interview with Wes Jackson, who is the founder of the Land Institute. He founded it around 1977, and he discovered at that time that even though land conservation tactics have been put in place, water conservation tactics have been put in place, we still they still saw as much soil degradation as they did in the 1930s in America, which was known as the Great Dust Bowl, when topsoil was destroyed around the country due to plowing and industrialized agriculture. Well, the 10,000-year problem that they're trying to solve, it's simple. It's using annuals instead of perennials, or rather using grains and plants that you have to replant every year, which oftentimes don't require, but tillage is used in those circumstances, which destroys the soil, both in terms of soil structure, moisture, retention, and the beneficial soil bacteria and insects that thrive in good, healthy soil. So what the Land Institute has been trying to do for the last 40 years is to domesticate wild perennial crops as well as crossbreeding wild perennials with their annual cousins that have been domesticated for industrial agriculture. They have seen some success and they have a budget around five million a year now through various charities and funds and it is a problem worth solving that's for sure. If we can create perennial polycultures which in a monoculture is one species growing, polyculture is many, perennial polycultures could help build self-sustaining farms that grow back year after year, require less fertilizers and pesticides and maintenance. Farmers can save time and money. And of course, we can have a healthier food system. Well, that's it for this story. You can read more about it in the link in the description. A lot of information, big interview. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.